In this lecture, we are going to understand what is residual current circuit breaker or RCCB. What is the objective of using RCCB in our electrical circuit as well as the working principle and the types of RCCB in electrical circuits. Now the main purpose of using RCCB is to protect humans from electrical shock. This is the core purpose. Whenever we are connecting RCCB, we are making the system more safe or shock proof as well as in large scale industry or in commercial places, the RCCB gives excellent fire protection. So this is another advantage of using RCCB in our electrical circuit. Now your question will be how it is giving us protection from electrical shock as well as in industry the fire safety. For that we need to understand the basic working principle of an RCCB. So this is the circuit diagram of an RCCB connected in a circuit and this is the single pole RCCB which is available in the market. Before going into the detail working principle, first just compare the circuit diagram and the actual RCCB. So if it is connected with the phase, it has got a circuit breaker contact that is this is the circuit breaker contact and it is given in the circuit diagram. Here is two connections where the incomers are connected both the phase and the neutral and the outgoing terminals comes out from this another two terminals. Here there is a test button which is shown here in the actual RCCB it is written as T. Now this entire CT and this relay all these are mounted inside this. What we see from outside is the test button and circuit breaker contact. This is the test button and this is circuit breaker contact and the CT and the relay part are inside the RCCB. Now come to the working principle. So during normal operation the input current or just say the phase current remains equal with the neutral current because if there is no leakage then input current or phase current is equal to neutral current but if there is any kind of leakage that is due to insulation failure or mishandling then this input current is not equal to the neutral current because there is some sort of leakage if a human touches any part of load or any light part then some amount of current will flow through this human to the ground so if suppose 20 ampere current is coming to the face and few milliampere is leaking suppose 0.3 milliampere is leaking to the ground then the neutral current or IN will be 20 ampere minus 0.3 milliampere so input and output current is not same so if there is a difference between the phase current and the neutral current then this is creates a difference in the CT also or the CT current also whenever this CT is experiencing different types of current then this signal is going to the relay the relay senses this current difference and it trips this circuit breaker that means this circuit gets open and this human being is protected from shock clear now your question will be what is the function of this test button test button is used to check 
whether the breaker or the RCCB is properly working or not. So whenever you are short circuiting this particular circuit by pushing this test button then the value of the current is abruptly increasing because of this short circuit path from here to neutral. So this abrupt increase of current trips the breaker and you can make it sure that the RCCB is working properly. This RCCB is sometimes called ELCB or arc leakage circuit breaker also whether it is used for arc leakage current detection purpose. Now there is some types of RCCB are available in the market one in terms of poles. This is double pole. You can see there is two input terminals and two output terminals in case of double pole and in case of four poles see there is four number of poles one two three and four so this double pole is used for single phase connection and this four pole is used for three phase connection here the same thing is there also you are having push button and tripping everything is same just used for different phases now there is an important classification based on input AC and DC how is that for type A if there is input current or the phase current is coming here AC plus DC pulse then you have to use A type of RCCB now type B is if your phase current is a mix of AC plus plain DC then you should go for B type of RCCB in your circuit and if your input is plain AC then you should connect AC type of RCCB in your circuit. So you can just memorize like this for plain AC your RCCB is AC type and rest of the A and B is a mixture of AC plus DC. Now what is the usage of this type of RCCB? If you are using a power electronic converter then there is a probability of coming both AC and DC pulses for that type of cases you have to use a type of RCCB like inverter, rectifier like this power electronic converters. For B type if a plain DC pulse is coming from anywhere in the circuit it may be any type of circuit then you should go for B type and the most used RCCB is the AC type because we mostly deal with AC circuits AC system so this is usual very often is used in our circuit that is AC type RCCB now next type is based on current reading now what is current reading there is two types of readings one is rated current another is leakage current or in terms of sensitivity these readings are the readings of input phase current that means the current is coming from the source and going to the load if the range of your current is up to 25 ampere then you should go for a 25 ampere rated RCCB if it is beyond than 25 ampere but less than 32 then you should go for 32 ampere MCCB and that is for 40 and 63 ampere MCCB these are based on your market availability here and this is the rating of the leakage current. If your leakage current rating is more than 30 mA but less than 100 mA then you should go for 30 mA RCCB. If it is more than 100 to 300 mA then you should go for this type of RCCB and if it is beyond 300 mA then you should go for leakage current rating RCCB. So I think the concept of RCCB working principle as well as the entire types are clear to you. In a previous lecture, I have also discussed about how it is connected with NCP in your circuit. I will give the link of that lecture in the description box below. Before ending the lecture, I can ask you a question that is how you choose an RCCB according to your requirement. Give the answer in the description box below. I will certainly come back with a dedicated lecture on this topic. If you want to buy any of our electrical engineering courses, then the link is given in the description box below. You should click on the link and redirect to our page 
and purchase our courses. Thank you.